All right, so you're going to the New England Drama Festival at Old Saybrook in the year 2016, and they have an Element Light Board by ETC. It's a wonderful board, um, but for some people it may be a little surprising because it, uh, it doesn't really operate the way we're accustomed to with our old uh, two-scene crossfade boards or um, with the old uh, Express line because it's really designed to deal with uh, moving lights and LEDs and color changing equipment um, and that makes it really wonderful and there is a good deal of LED equipment at Old Saybrook so, so I uh, created this magic sheet over here which you notice looks kinda like the magic sheet that uh, you got from Dan okay it's just that it's been digitized. Um, the cool thing is, rather than keying in a string of commands, uh, this allows you to select the lights you want by clicking on them. Okay, so if I click on that light, you'll see down here it says channel 38. And then if I want this one too, that's channel 23. And then I can set a level with an intensity palette uh, say I wanted it 50% and you'll notice they actually lit up at 50% uh, one side is warm one side is cool so we've got it set up to kind of show that I don't know whether they're blue and pink but warm and cool will make sense um, if I want to clear the command line I hit the clear key on the keypad with the light board and, and if there's multiple things in the command line you just keep keep hitting clear or you can do shift clear and it'll clear it all at once um, to make it a little easier in some respects uh, if I want these to go out the easiest thing well one way to do it is um, I can do go to Q zero uh, and yes I'm not good at multitasking myself and hit enter one of the things that's different about this family of boards, and it's the same for the EOS, uh, you have to hit enter after every command in order for it to act. Uh, unlike the uh, express line that just figured, oh, you've keyed in two digits, you must be done. But if I wanted to bring up all the lights in this area from the front, I can just click the area, and I've selected all three of them. Then I could select an intensity over here or I can come over here and there's a wheel here and so I can increase the, the intensity or I can decrease the intensity and the farther away I move my mouse from center the quicker it fades or if I prefer I can just key in at and the percentage and hit enter and it will be there um, Okay, so that's if I wanted just the down center area. If I wanted the whole downstage wash, I can come over here and hit this button here, and that'll select the entire downstage wash. And now I can set them at, let's set them all at full. Um, or, if I prefer, I'm going to hit the clear key a few times to clear that out. Um, and I'm going to I could also set that intensity down to zero, except I don't have them selected. <laughs> so I can select the downstage wash. I can select the intensity to zero, and you see they all went out. Um, I can then hit my clear key to deselect everything. Um, the IP11 means we're set with intensity palette 11, which happens to be 0%. 10% is intensity palette 1. Uh, if I wanted to just bring up the downstage warms, I can select them there and put them at, say, 80%. Then I could select the downstage cools, and I could put them at 40%. Or I can select this front light, which is no color at all, and put that at whatever percentage I want. But, you know, really, I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to back out of there. I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to put that at full because I want a special down center. Oh, but I didn't do that. <laughs> Okay, um, so we're going to select those, put them at zero, and 
Now I'm going to go and select this one only and put that at full. Okay, you see what I've done there. Okay, so that's the simple stuff for just regular old, these are all source for ellipsoidals that we're playing with. The same thing happens in the mid-stage wash. I can select individual lighting instruments and set them at whatever level I want. I can also adjust their intensity here, right? Um, or I can select, say, all of the straight on no color instruments and set them at full. I could take my warms and select them at some, set them at some level. Okay, that all makes sense. Um, and of course, as soon as I've established the look that I want, I can hit the record button to record to a queue, or I can record to a submaster, just like you would if you were just keying in the commands.